Hey everybody, and I'm going to show you how to import uh, from SketchUp to Active World. So I have a simple Active World or SketchUp model that I downloaded off the 3D warehouse. Nothing special about it. It's not optimized for anything. Um, you're going to need SketchUp for this and uh, AccuTrans. Um, I'll get into AccuTrans later. Um, yeah. So, um, so we have a model, uh, and, uh, we have a person here, so the person is there for scale, we're going to use a person for scale, um, the dog house looks the right size compared to the person, the dog looks, yeah, it looks nice, um, it's not, not too big, the person couldn't fit in it, not too small, right, the dog's not as small as her foot, so that's good. Um, now what we're going to need to do is reverse faces, okay? Uh, this is very, very important for importing into, uh, Active Worlds. So we're going to go to a view, face style, monochrome. Okay, now we see everything is either white or blue. You see that little blue there? Okay, um, now the reason this is important is because, let me bring up, there, can I get a, well, no, just do a floor. Um, in SketchUp, there's two sides. There's a white side, and there's a blue side of every face, or if, if you, yeah, there's just a white side and a blue side. Um, in SketchUp, though, there's only, or in Active Worlds, there's only one side. So in Active Worlds, that happens to be the white side. So, in Active Worlds, the blue side will be invisible. So, that's like an animate panel. Um, you, you remember, the animate panel is one side's visible and one side's not. So, that's, we have to make sure that the side we want visible is white. Okay? Um, as you can see, the person is completely white, so that's good. Get rid of these borders here. Never got rid of them. Okay, so I'm just gonna edit component here. And I'm just gonna select that and click reverse faces. Now this changes the face from blue to white. So now that's visible. Okay? Um change this reverse faces. Um we're gonna reverse that face. Reverse face. Okay. It's all good. Everything's good. Okay. So that's done. Now I'm just gonna get rid of her because we don't need her anymore. Um, and we can go back to uh back to shaded with textures. Okay. Now that we're back, you can see that the textures or the sides we flipped are now white instead of their that nice bright orange because uh, the texture you can have a different texture on each side in SketchUp. Uh, you can't in Active Worlds. So, for example, let's grab some random random textures. So we can have shingles on one side and we can have orange on the other in SketchUp. Uh, in active worlds, we can only have the one side, so that's not good. Just delete that. Okay. So I'm going to go over here, edit component, and I'm just going to fix this up by applying some nice orange paint around here. Um, boom. Boom. That's good. Okay. That's done. I think. Looks done to me. Okay. So, now that that's done, we can get out of this component. We can go File, up here, and we can go Export, and we can go Export as 3D Model. Okay? Um, make sure, though, uh, you save it. 
save it before you export it or just in case just in case it crashes or something um, so we have doghouse.dae so there's two options there's google earth file.kmz and then there's collatafile.dae we're gonna want the collatafile okay uh, and we're just gonna go export okay um, so that's good uh, now that that's exported we have uh, doghouse.dae we have the saved file here we have the textures used um, so that's good so I'm going to boot up Accutrans so Accutrans is made by Micromouse Productions you can get it at micromouse.ca um, yeah download it it's uh, you can just get the trial version uh, it's not free it's uh, but yeah you could have a, a free trial of it um, same SketchUp it's, I've, I'm using the free trial here or the free version of SketchUp uh, free version of Accutrans um, or the trial version of Accutrans um, yeah so I'm just gonna grab Accutrans here there we go there's Accutrans I've got 20 version 2014 uh, 0.2.0 so we're just gonna go open and doghouse and we're gonna go any file and we're going to choose our doghouse.dae let's open that up and just wait for it to import it might take uh, longer depending on your uh, configuration so here's our file here's our dog uh, it imported very nicely uh, so now that we've got that we get to export this so we go file we go uh, oh just save save as now we want to save with options file save with options okay so here's our save with options now the files that uh, uh, are recommended for active worlds are dot rwx and accutrans is actually one of the few uh, converters that uses dot rwx so that's why we well, that's why we're using accutrans it looks a bit older but it, it works really nicely uh, even with the newer files uh, so here renderware dot rwx okay uh, not an avatar uh, double-sided we can select double-sided and that will uh, remember our problem here well, with uh, double-sided if we select double-sided in this option box uh, it will it will work a file with double-sided walls like this will work or floors the only problem is is that you have a if you have a complex model like this dog is, is kind of complex but not really uh, it will render or it'll it'll have both files so then the file will be even bigger and we don't want bigger files we want smaller files so we're gonna go copy textures and we're gonna save them as a JPEG so quads UV JPEG um, so that's good um, yeah everything's good so we're just gonna go save uh, it's going to save it in a, we're gonna make a new folder and we're gonna call it doghouse doghouse final and we're gonna save it in there boom uh, should be done so we're gonna open up doghouse final and we have our doghouse.rwx and all of the textures 
Okay, and that is actually it. Um, whenever you're sending it to your owner, uh, I send it through Skype a lot of the time, uh, you're going to want to zip it up. So go new, uh, compress zip document, and we're going to call it dog house. Uh, dog house. And you want it all lowercase. So let's just rename that all lowercase. Dog house. There, dog house. No, we want it lowercase. Dog house. No, we want it lowercase. Dog. Okay, let's try that. Here we go, house. There, okay, and we're going to put that in the zip file. Oh, wait, no, it's already in there. So it's in the zip file. Okay, and you're going to want to send them all these textures, otherwise uh, your object will be textureless. Um, so s send them the zip, or if you're the, the owner, uh, yeah, if you're the owner, just put these textures in your textures folder and put the zip in your objects. Okay, and that's it. Have fun.